Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. In this session, we are going to see how to debug a Java program in Eclipse. To understand this, we will see one demonstration of one program. For demonstration purpose, we have taken a multiplication a table printing program that we have seen in my previous video. We will take the same program for debugging to understand the execution of this program. Debugging is the technique or a way to understand the step by step execution of a program to understand the logic how exactly the program executing one step after another step. So to start a debugging uh, first of all we need to put one breakpoint from where you want to execute the program. Suppose I want to execute from this I want to debug this program from this line. So what I will do I will double click on this blue strip see one bullet point has been created. Now right click on the editor go for debug as you can see the option just below this run as debug as click on debug as Java application. Now it will open the debugging perspective so click on OK. It will open the debugging perspective window where we can see exact execution step by step. How the values are changing, how the method calls will be happen. It is asking for some default settings. You have to click on allow access. See, it's asking for to switch on perspective window of debugging. Yes, we'll click on switch. It will switch over to this normal ID to debugging ID. Yeah, this is the window. See, now it has been uh, changed as debug. This will uh, this panel will display okay, how the execution is going to be happen, how the method calls will be taking place. Right, this is nothing but your method calling stack. For example, we have put our breaking point on line number 7. So you can observe now the debugging is on line number 7 on the main method construction, right? In the right hand side, we can see the values as the debugging is moving forward. The From here, we can see the status of that particular values and arguments. So now uh, the first line is uh, it has been created the object. Okay. Now what we will do? We will click on there are two options if you see here there is one step into another option is step over step into means it will enter inside the statement and step over means it will complete this execution and move to the next statement so from here we will jumping on to the next statement so for that we will click on step over click on that and please observe here see the moment I have clicked on the step over what happened this execution is completed and it has moved to the next one so what actually did here it has created the object called multi so you can see here in the right hand side the multi object has been created okay and now the cursor is on multi dot display now here we want to go inside this calling statement okay so what we will do we will click on step into now see the moment I have clicked on that right it has jumped from that method call to it has called the display method this method okay and it is enter inside this method by passing the argument as a 6 so now by default when it has called so this argument has been created this will be created by default uh, by the program okay now we will again click on step in to go inside this display and with this argument. Now see here in the right hand side when I will click on step into. Observe carefully. This has passed the number 6 to this method. And now the number is having the value of what? 6. Okay. Miss the num uh, 6 value has been assigned to this number variable. Now again we need to go step into because we want to call. Uh, 
uh, the another method okay what we will do we will go and call here step into see now it has entered into this method by having the value number is equals to 6 and from is 1 and 2 is 10 okay means we are seeing step by step execution means after every method call what changes are going to happen so it's very easy to understand the logic of the program even also you can see the call stack in the left hand side panel means how this was the first line this is the second one with no argument if you see the third one it is calling the display function but this time it is passing one argument and see just recently we have called the display function with three arguments so now we are at this position okay now it has entered into this for loop suppose if you want to uh, click on step over because uh, we want to execute the first statement and we want to switch on to the next statement so click on step over it will come inside by having the value 1 now see here what changes are going to happen there click again next step over see one line completed that means see 6 into 1 is equal to 6 now we will click again step over now this time the value has been changed i is equals to 2 right it will come again here now it will execute the next statement 6 into 2 that is 12 we will click on step over we are having also shortcut you can see for step over it is f6 and for step in it is f5 now we will click on step over see the value 6 into 2 equals 12 now again i will click see the value i equal to 3 come next it will execute the next statement i is equals to 4 i is equals to 5 i equals to 6 i equals to 7 i equal to 8 i equal to 9 i equal to 10 it prints 6 into 10 equals to 60 now the next statement when it will go it will become i equal to 11 and it comes out of the loop click on next it has come outside of this loop function because the condition was become false click on next see the way it has called now it will be get back in the reverse order okay again step over it will go back to the previous method see it will go to that main method because every program uh, the scope will be ended at main method only we will click and it will terminate the entire processor so this is uh, the way to debug any java application in eclipse by using step into and step over function i hope you have understood this concept thank you very much we will meet in the next video thank you